Welcome back, Tater Tides, to my channel for episode 12 of the Sugar Macaroon Legacy Generation 1 Watermelon. So in the last episode, in case you guys missed it, Melly had a big surprise for precious little Keely. She adopted her best friend, Louis, and I am so excited to see her family just grow and thrive and watch the kids and who they're going to become as they grow up. And Melly also found out that Louis is a dog lover and decided to surprise both him and Keely with a puppy to help them, especially with overcoming the loss of Shiloh. And so Melly and the kids, they are both working super hard at school and work. And this is what leads us to the start of today's episode. It was a late night in the macaroon household. Melly was finishing washing up the dishes from dinner now that the kids had gone on to bed. She was humming softly to herself as she put the last dish away when she suddenly heard her phone chime. Pulling out her phone, she saw a message from Aggie. She immediately opened it and read, Melly, I was wondering if you could meet me tomorrow at the cottage after Mallory heads off to her story time at the library. Melly responded quickly, Of course. Putting her phone away, Melly wondered to herself, What could Aggie want to discuss with me? Especially while Mallory is away. Guess I'll find out. With all the chores done, Melly headed to bed. The next day arrived, and just as she had agreed, Melly made her way to the cottage by the falls. The timing of her meeting with Aggie worked out perfectly since the kids had school. Knocking on the door, it swung open on its own, providing her entry. Magic could definitely be convenient. Aggie smiled as she came into the cottage. Melly, it's wonderful to see you again. Please, make yourself comfortable. Can I get you anything? Not at all, but thank you for the offer. What did you want to see me about? Aggie's face became slightly sorrowful as she made eye contact with Melly. There's something I need to tell you, but I need you to promise you won't say anything to Mallory or Kim. Judging by this, Melly knew whatever it was must be serious. She nodded her head in agreement. Aggie took a deep breath. As I'm sure you're aware, my powers have been lessening quickly, as has my strength. She closed her eyes. I... I will be leaving this world soon. Melly's mouth opened in shock. Aggie, that can't be. You are all that Mallory has, and what about all the herbs I've been helping you with? Aggie raised her hand to silence her. The herbs have been very helpful, my dear, but they can only do so much. A witch always knows when her time is coming. She can feel the aura embedded around her own heart, growing ever smaller. That's why I need to tell you, so that you can be there for Mallory when it does happen. Mallory has always been such a sweet girl, lighthearted and full of the innocence of a child. I've loved her more like a daughter than a granddaughter. She will take my pathing very hard, but now that she has you, you can help to soften that blow. Melly gulped and gripped her arms tightly. But I, I'm not sure if I can really help her with that. You are capable of more than you realize. Remember, I've seen your heart and your true desires. Whether you know what to do or not, you will find it when you need it. That said, Aggie handed her two envelopes. What are these? Melly asked as she looked down at them. Each envelope had a name on it, Mallory and Kim. I've written a letter for each of them. When I pass, please give it to them. It will be my last words to them both. Melly could feel tears starting to well up, her heart feeling tight. Aggie smiled softly. My dear, please don't feel sad or heartbroken for me. I've lived a long, hard life, a good one, but challenging to say the least. Regardless, each moment I will always cherish. I'm still here for the moment, so no tears. Melly nodded her head and wiped her eyes. I promise to do all I can. Aggie hugged her gently. I know you will, dear. Now head back home before Mallory catches you here. Melly left the cottage with so many thoughts running through her head. She had so many different emotions welling up inside her that she didn't know what to do with them. Not wanting to spend too much time dwelling on them, she made her way back home. Melly is now back at her house after visiting with Aggie and oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Aggie is going to be passing away soon and she knows she is, which is just kind of crazy. But you know, Melly, she 
She's got a lot on her mind. She's worried for Mallory, how she's going to handle it, especially Kim, because, I mean, she's basically, Aggie has been like a mother to Kim, especially since the loss of her daughter, which was, you know, Kim's best friend. And so there's just so much going on. And, oh, this little puppy needs our attention. Hello, Bobby. We were, are working on a flower arrangement. But let's see, we can get to know our little puppy. And we do need to check to see we can see if he can go potty and then I think she'll go ahead and start training him a little bit heal yeah we could do that that's the only one we can work on but maybe just make sure the needs okay he does have food oh it's like he's waiting for Lewis to come home that is precious I love that okay she's literally about to finish this flower arrangement and then we'll hurry up and get to little Bobby here. All right, hurry up before Bobby potties on the ground in the house. Okay, there she goes. So what is this one? I forgot what we made. This is Paradise in Pink and it's a masterpiece. Oh my gosh, we can sell it for 1800 simoleons. Woo, I like that idea. Let's add a vase to this one. Mm, let's add a black vase. Ooh. Okay, does that make it cost more? No, it doesn't. I don't think it does anything. So, okay, we are supposed to gift a flower arrangement. I think I already have one in my inventory though. Yeah, I do. So I'll just go ahead and we will sell this one after she uses the bathroom, of course. And how is little Bobby doing? Oh, I think he was able to use the potty. Very, very good. And our garden is coming along swimmingly. Things are just blooming. Look at our bluebells. I really like these, uh, what are these begonias? Yeah, I think those are really pretty. Okay, so we got those growing and let's see, anything else? Oh, and how is Bianca doing today? She's content, she's happy. Her little barn is clean, her feet is full. So, so many good things. And oh look, she's gonna go ahead and get started on laundry. I completely forgot about laundry, to be honest with you. I don't usually add laundry rooms to my Sims houses because I just feel like it's a whole nother chore I don't wanna deal with. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we definitely have one now. And so it just adds to that realism. Look at her just getting it started. She is so good. And do they have these full of laundry? They're not terrible. But anyways, as we were talking about, so the whole thing with Aggie. So yes, yeah, she does have those two envelopes that have, you know, the letters from Aggie, one to Mallory and one to Kim. And so she has those on hand for when they are needed. She has them hidden in the house, which really, I mean, it's nothing too secretive, but it's just, you know, over here in her wardrobe, her dresser. And so she, she's feeling nervous about what to do because Melly, the reason she feels she's not like the best person for the job is because she hasn't really experienced the loss of a family member in her life. Because, I mean, her parents, you know, they left her on Graham's doorstep when she was a baby. So it's not like she has any recollection or memory of her parents. And so it doesn't really feel like a loss to her because Graham has been literally everything she needs and more. And so she couldn't ask for anything better or for a better childhood. And so she has no regrets there, but the only thing she's ever lost is Shiloh. And so she doesn't want to like compare the loss of, you know, a family member, like a human to that of a pet, you know, if that makes sense. So I'm not going to worry about this lifestyle trait thing. So, okay. It looks like Bobby is wanting to play, but the kids will be home from school in literally just a few minutes. And so as soon as they get back, um, I'll have Lewis come and play fetch with sweet little, um, sweet little uh, Bobby. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have trouble remembering these names. So let's see if we can get him to, I'll just put this in his inventory. Come on. There he is. Okay. So they're home. Let's put this in his inventory and then we'll see, can he play fetch with little, um, we'll let him lick his face and pet care. Ask to go potty, friendly, Feel the love, give a treat. I don't see anything that says like we can actually like play, you know? So, okay, well, we'll just let him complain about his problems and whatnot. But what did this say? Lewis is done with school for the week. He's doing well, but it wouldn't hurt to go the extra mile. 
so perhaps the weekend would be a good time to do so. So he is still a B student. Keely is an A student. What did it say about Keely? Stellar. Keely can surely enjoy the weekend knowing she's one of the top students at Landgrab Elementary. All right, so awesome job, Keely. She has been working so hard. I'm really, really proud of her and how far she's come, but it looks like principal poisoned from a school event. The principal isn't going to enjoy this brownie one bit. Oh, that's right. While I was playing off screen, she had something pop up that there was a kid that was um, teasing her or and he like kept stealing her lunch and she tried to switch out the brownie to be a laxative brownie but then that kid gave it to the principal and so yeah it was just a whole ordeal but okay little Bobby I'm trying to play with you but I don't I don't know how else to play with you I'm sorry we'll have an intellectual discussion I mean I know know that he's a uh, what do you call it a stubborn dog so call over, feed, ask to go potty. They're easy to train and learn things quickly, but stubborn at the same time. So I don't really know how that works out, but maybe we'll have um, Lewis try to teach him how to heal. But it is the weekend, so they do have plenty of time to get their homework done. And oh, look at Keely over here. She is being oh so funny. She's trying to cheer up from her rough day at school. Melly, she is over here just doing her thing, watching some TV. Oh, and he, I didn't realize that kids could acquire the pet training skill. So that's pretty cool. I, I do like that. But okay, so we'll come over here. Ooh, a thousand simoleons. I like that. And oh, that's right. We need to gift a flower arrangement to someone. Man, there's first boxes everywhere. So let's see if we can invite, um, we're going to have Kim come over because I feel like we haven't had her come over very much and I do want her to enjoy <laughs> to get closer to her because their relationship bar actually is hardly anywhere. <laughs> Look at Bobby. He looks so funny. All right so Kim has decided to come over. It looks like she's in a pretty um, crappy mood. <laughs> she looks pretty upset. Hopefully we can cheer her up or something. Maybe giving her that uh, flower arrangement will really help. She's like, hey, Kim, how are you doing? She's like, hey, sorry if I seem a little upset. I've had a really rough day in my market stall. I had someone come up and they were just, oh my gosh, they were haggling me so hard. And then someone actually tried to steal some of the fruits that I was selling. And so Melly's like, are you serious? That's crazy. And so she's like, I know, right? Like, why would people, why would people do that? I'm quite busy and have no good gossip for you. Okay, sorry, I wasn't really trying to get gossip, but you know, that's okay. Let's try to tell her a funny story. See if we can really try to help her just relax, take a deep breath. It's gonna be okay. Oh my gosh, it is almost Keely's birthday. <gasps> I can't believe that, that's crazy. So it does look like their um, bar is going up a bit. Can I offer her a Fenwick favor? I don't even know what that means, but let's give her a choco berry because I feel like, I don't know, she would like that. Um, so she is a cheerful sim. Oh, she's feeling playful. There we go. Oh, let's see. We're like, hey, I found this for you. I thought you might enjoy it. And so, oh, it looks like she did like it, I do believe. So I, well, okay, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> I could be totally wrong. Okay, give a gift. I'm gonna give her a flower arrangement. Let's just see. Maybe this will help her cheer up. Maybe. I don't know. She's just having a really rough one. She's like, choco berries. I sell these at my stall. There we go. So she really liked that. Okay. That was much better. Okay. We're going to enthuse about the kids for a minute. And we'll just stress about some lost time in life. But okay. Ooh, I'm glad to see that things are a little better and less tense. So anyways, it is starting to get a little bit late win a competition yeah that's right we do still need to do that i think tomorrow if i'm not mistaken is the fenwick cow fair so we will go and take the kids to that but the garden the large vegetable garden one or whatever that one isn't until the following weekend i realized too that i forgot to tell you guys that lewis did get a loose tooth last night and he did put it under his pillow and the tooth fairy did come and leave him a little bit of simoleon so he was pretty excited about that and we are, oh, look at little Bobby trying to eat. 
see look how big the bowl is compared to him oh my gosh she's like looking up at Kim like oh my gosh she's a giant compared to me but Melly is busy over here working on another flower arrangement she's working really hard to get her skill up because she has a promotion in her sights and she wants to get there and little Lewis is of course already working on his homework so he's just free for the whole weekend but he's actually been working pretty well on his skills and so especially with building up his creativity because he is a whiz kid so he wants to play three games of chess and read with an adult for two hours so I do I guess I need to get a chess set I was kind of thinking that what I would do with this extra room up here is to kind of make this like a big playroom for the kids I feel like that would be a really you know just a nice touch and then maybe just make this another bathroom I, I don't know or it could just be storage or I don't know I haven't I haven't gotten there yet but Melly is Kim's faring friend today. She's happy to offer Melly a favor for being a member of the village community. Okay, so that is very kind of her. So yeah, I'm glad to see everybody. Oh my gosh, Me like Melly, what are you doing? You are just beating this chicken. I don't even know what what are we making? Chicken stir fry. Okay, I don't know if I've ever seen this animation before. Is this one of my custom foods? This must be a custom one and not like. Uh, just a Sims 4 base game type one because I don't remember this one but I could be totally wrong but I'll probably be able to tell once the plate is oh no and someone made a mess Keely what are you doing honey she's already going to sleep poor thing she's just exhausted from her day at school and Lewis he's almost done with his homework it seems but yeah Kim is just checking in with us you know we're catching up and she's like you know thanks for cheering me up that flower arrangement was beautiful you've come a really long way with it you know Graham's probably really proud of you Melly's really thankful to her for you know such a kind compliment and she's like yeah I have been working pretty hard I'm I'm really hoping to you know maybe start selling my own flowers from here from my own garden and things I think people would really enjoy it. she's like absolutely or even sell yourself up a little flower garden stall downtown like I think you'd have a lot of customers there I mean everybody in this town pretty much knows each other and you know everyone adores Graham and therefore they all adore you so I think you'd be really successful with it so Melly is really excited at that prospect so that's something we might have to consider and okay is no one's gonna eat this stir-fry I thought Melly was gonna eat it she's gonna just gonna eat it right in front of Kim <laughs> basically just brag that she has some delicious food and Kim doesn't but all right it is getting late so Kim is gonna head on home Lewis how are you doing oh he is about to be done oh my gosh this poor boy is literally about to pass out so uh, he completed his homework go to bed Lewis it's okay just go to bed honey like you are exhausted I want you to have a fun nice relaxing weekend there he goes okay he is going to bed and I think we still need to, yeah, switch our laundry out. And how is little Bobby? Where is Bobby? Bobby. Oh, he's so tiny. I can barely even see him. And he just like blends right in. So she's just chatting with him. What is her relationship like? Oh, we need to work on that. The relationship is really good. Like Lewis and him are like besties. And then with Keely, uh, she's working on it. So we'll get there. But okay oh poor little thing just wants to play and I feel so bad about that uh, let's get to know Bobby a little bit more we're gonna praise him for being such a sweet little dog offer some friendship oh look I love the little curly tail on its little bum it's so cute and Melly, she's like telling him all about Shiloh, her previous dog, and just letting him know like, oh yeah, she was so wonderful and I'm sure you're going to be just as wonderful. We're so excited to have you as a part of our family and to get to know you more and everything like that. So, all right, they just became friends. Wonderful. So let's ask him to go potty, make sure all is well there. And then we will... Um, go ahead and fill his bowl that way he has something to eat clean up this mess and then Melly is probably gonna go ahead and head on to bed and then I will see you guys for Saturday good morning everyone so Keely has woken up bright and early this morning because she did go to bed pretty early last night and she is just sitting out here on the front porch enjoying the sunrise and doing her homework which what a beautiful and wonderful way to start your morning right like to sit here on this little porch like let's let's go through here 
as if we're sitting on the front porch with her. Like, look at this gorgeous scenery she's got. She's got the beautiful, beautiful clouds. It's so relaxing. The sun is shining. It looks like it is going to be a gorgeous day today. So I'm really excited. And it is Talk Like a Pirate Day, which Keely loves. She loves stories about pirates. So I'm excited for her. You know, we're going to try to make it a fun day. And look, even Melly is thinking about her promotion. And girl, go use the bathroom. What are you feeling sad or scared about? What's happening now? Oh, because she's at a crossroads. Oh, honey, you're really not at a crossroads. I don't know why we're being so difficult with all this because we're not going to go into the business career. I've been trying to figure out how to negotiate a promotion, but I'm wondering if I can only do that like after I've reached my skill level that I need to get promoted and put money into a vault. So I need to purchase a smart vault or a vault door. So that's, that's pretty easy, I would think. So I just went to go buy the vault and I didn't realize that it's ginormous. But we'll just put one out here for a second just so we can have her come over here and add money to the vault. We're just gonna add like a hundred simoleons because yeah, she just needs to do something to help with this. So whoa, what happened to our, uh, our uh, what do you call it? our aspiration, our midlife crisis. Oh, crisis resolution. Literally, the second I bought this, she got a crisis resolution. Melly's midlife crisis has passed and she's going through resolution phase reflecting on who she is and where she is in life. So, okay, become recognized for work. So there are ways to prove it. So yes, I do know that she is wanting to do that. Okay, so I'm just gonna delete this because we don't need this giant ridiculous thing. Like, my gosh, okay. Well, I'm glad that we passed through that. So, yeah, let's see. It's not so bad. Let me unpause this. So, uh, from overcoming midlife crisis, Melly has made it through a life-changing experience and has realized things aren't as bad as originally thought. Melly might not be the same sim they were before this life event occurred, but she is at peace with, uh, with this. Okay, perfect. So, let's go ahead and sell this baby over here. And... Oh, there is Lewis. Looks like he has woken up for the day. Does Lewis? Oh, he loves Talk Like a Pirate Day too. So wonderful. So I love how our little kiddos are just so excited about it. It's really cute. So we're going to do some orchids. I did the white orchids last time. Let's do these yellow ones. They're quite expensive, but they, I imagine, sell for quite a bit of simoleons. So, okay, little Bobby is sleeping. Keely is still finishing up all her homework, and I love how Lewis has come out here to sit and chat with her. He's like, hey, sis, how are things going? Because they are basically, you know, they are best friends, but they're basically brother and sister now, so they are family after all. And look at their cute house shoes, right? Oh my gosh, what's going on with my camera? Like, see, he's got dog house shoes because he loves dogs. He's a dog lover. And Keely has little sheep. I think that is just precious. All right. So they have both completed their homework for the weekend. Loving that. And I do need her to get a BFF, which, of course, we're going to make Lewis become our BFF. So don't go mourn Shiloh. Come and hang out with your bestie. Let's enthuse about some candy and do whatever we can to try to make it to being our best our best friend that's what I meant so the kids are over here still just laughing and chatting and whatnot and Melly is coming out here to check on some of the little rabbits and everything like that oh we've got plants that need to be evolved so we'll take care of that but I wanted to show you guys literally she just finished this orchid um, bouquet and look how much we can sell it for 4,000 4,300 simoleons like what that's possible? Like my mind is blown, but we're gonna sell that. Give us all the simoleons. So, okay, these two are getting so much closer with their goals of becoming best friends. So I do, okay, hold on, let's get Melly working on another one because we are not gonna waste this day, right? We are gonna just make the most of it. So we're gonna go for this pink orchid and I wanna see what she can actually like sell that for. But where did, uh, can he change the laundry, unload, and move laundry to the dryer? So it looks like he can do that, so that's helpful. I'm glad to know that. I don't think I've ever really had the kids do laundry. So there he goes, and does he dry laundry? Turn it on, come on, there he goes. 
Oh, a rabbit has passed away. Two rabbits have passed away. Okay, there he goes. So that is done. Oh, that's right. We need to get a chess set. And, oh yeah, we need to check. Oh, Bianca. Oh, I'm so sorry. Let's have uh, Keely. Can you come over here and clean Bianca to cheer her up? Help this girl out. Help her feel happy and whatnot. And how bad is this? Yeah, we should go ahead and clean the shed and refill the feed. So Keely is going to go take care of the animals for us, which is, oh my gosh, just so helpful. And what is he doing? Okay, he is trying to have some fun to cheer himself up. And where is our puppy? Oh, he doesn't like the sound of the TV, which I get. So let's see if we can have him... Um, we're gonna spend some time with our little doggy and okay he does have food we can ask him what's wrong and let him lick our face and we can continue to see if we can do some heel training with him I think that might help to cheer him up a bit and Melly okay she's gonna go let's see okay how much get oh only 2,000 okay not too bad but I guess the other one was a pristine masterpiece Tomorrow is also officially Keely's birthday where she will be aging up into a teen, which I cannot believe. That is absolutely crazy to me. But I wonder why they're literally like a week apart, like their birthdays. But you know, it's okay. It's fine. So, um, you know, we can just say she's a little bit older than him. You know, he's a little bit younger. It's all good. It's all good. So it looks like we are almost halfway to getting our next um, skill point in flower arranging. And Keely, how is she doing over here? Oh, looks like she has just finished cleaning. She's about to get some food in there for her. Okay, Bianca, so she's doing a lot better now. Melly is gonna finish up that flower arrangement and little Bobby and Lewis, they are just, I think that they're so adorable, they really are. Oh, he's going through a face. He's going to have a bit of a mean streak. It feels like being more nasty. That's not very nice. That doesn't seem like him. Ugh, whatever. So we're going to have him give a little treat here. Feel the love. And was he not able to oh, become companions? Yes, let's do that. Oh, I want to watch this. Oh, he's so sweet. Little Bobby. Oh, the little hearts. Oh, he like glitched and dropped him. Okay, all the rabbits are just dying like left and right. So can we become companions? Come on, become companions. I wanna see, I wanna see. Let's do it, let's do it, Lewis. Oh, look at them, yes. Oh, they are so precious. He's so happy about it too. Oh, we're gonna scratch his favorite spot give special smooches and okay can we do anything still yet I don't think so yeah like we still can't play fetch with him I don't think but we'll ask him to go potty because he probably does need to do that and Keely how are you doing oh she's gonna dry the laundry which is really sweet of her oh she's at cooking level 10 <laughs> Melly I had no idea Wow, I'm really impressed. Did you just make yourself food and no one else? That was kind of rude. Anyways, though, Melly is busy planning Keely's birthday party for tomorrow. And so she's been messaging, of course, back and forth with Graham and with Mallory. And so they are all really excited to have everyone come over and celebrate and have such a big festive event. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. I think it'll be really, really fun. I think I'm hoping the weather is supposed to be, no, it's showing rain. <gasps> oh, that's terrible. I was hoping it wasn't gonna rain because I really wanted to have it outside, like over here with all the balloons out here by the greenhouse. I just feel like that would be really, really pretty, you know, and just summer vibes. Ugh. That's so sad if it's gonna rain. Maybe it'll just rain part of the day and we'll be able to get through it okay, but oh, I guess we shouldn't put all our eggs in one basket, right? Lewis is busy over here just training Bobby and I am, I'm just loving that. And Keely, how's she doing? Oh, she's gonna go and take a bath. She's feeling pretty icky. Man, our bathroom is like flooded for some reason. 
So I'll have to get that all cleaned up. And at Melly, as she's upstairs taking a bath here, she's like, gotta test this bathtub, make sure it's working good for the kids. You know, sure, Melly, sure, we know what you're doing. So I have just finished making a kid's playroom in here. So Melly has put some of these little motivational posters, you know, with the cat and the dog, since they love animals. We have a chess table with a little mason jar light, you know, a really pretty like autumn themed tree with this cute little strawberry flower type rug because you know she is like a florist and she does have her garden. They have a little drawing table with some of the little doodles that they've done and then a little wall chart here to measure their height as they're getting bigger and then of course they have a don't wake the llama game table which I thought would be really fun for them and I just realized I forgot to add a curtain so let's do that real quick we're just going to copy this one there we go now it is much cozier so all right and I will figure out what I'm doing with this because originally I was thinking this would be like another bedroom and so there would be need, like another bathroom but you know I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but it's just there for now. So anyways, now we can have little Lewis come up here and he can play some chess. And I think that will be really fun for them. And it looks like Keely is going to go and take a bath. She is feeling excited about her birthday tomorrow. She knows that Melly is planning a party, but she doesn't really know like what they're going to do for the party. And guys, speaking of parties, I do have to tell you. So the day that this episode is posting on February 16th, Friday is actually my own son's birthday and he's going to be turning two. I will have a little two-year-old toddler and he is just, oh my gosh, he's precious and I love him. And so we're having a big birthday party for him on Saturday and my mother and father-in-law and my sister-in-law are all going to be there. Um, because I live pretty far away from my actual family, so uh, they won't get to be out here for it. They were, we went to my family's for his first birthday, and so now his family's going to be there for his second birthday. And yeah, so they're going to be here all weekend. We're going to have a party. I ordered his birthday cakes, and his theme is trains. He loves trains and anything with wheels, airplanes, everything like that. And so the theme is chugga chugga tutu. It's so cute. <laughs> I'm really excited for it. But yes, yeah, so I got him some little gifts for me and my husband. And yeah, so also I did on that note, talking about my son, I did want to say like, I feel like I'm terrible at the whole social media thing and like keeping up to date, like with what's going on in the Sims community on Twitter and whatnot and things like that. And I'm bad about like retweeting things and all of that because I'm just, I'm not on it a lot. And that's because I'm busy being with my son because for me that is what is most important is my family and my little precious boy comes first and my husband and things like that so I'm always going to spend time with them more than just being on social media because that's what matters more to me I do the sim stuff just for fun and so if you enjoy it you know that's a wonderful it makes me happy because I love sharing my stories and my characters with you all I just think it's so fun and it's a way to get my creativity out and so I appreciate those that do enjoy my my LPs and whatnot so thank you those of you that like this and anyways <laughs> so um, enough of that tangent but yeah my precious little boy oh my gosh like at bedtime he sits here and goes mama mama no because he doesn't want me to leave and it uh, just pulls at my heartstrings I love him so much anyways oh Keely honey why are you so bored of flavorless swill such mundane flavor wow that was rude what did you eat I don't even know what she ate I was paying attention a salad Oh, it's been wonderful to spend time with you. We made some great memories and we'll make many more. I'm sure of it. That is precious. Okay, Keely, how about you try something new and different? And why don't you come up here and like draw or something or yeah, make some summer crafts. I feel like that could be, you know, fun. And oh, look at Lewis. He's reached logic level two. So play three games of chess. So he needs to actually play it. So I guess we'll have him play with Keely. So scratch that, Keely. You're going to play some chess with Lewis instead. So, okay, romance festival. We don't care. Melly does not care, honestly, about anything to do with romance. But okay. Oh, Graham. Graham, go to the romance festival by yourself. We are far too busy. Oh my gosh. Can puppies hide under the couch like that? I've never seen that. 
Oh my goodness, are you okay? Are you okay? Is my game paused? Is my game paused? Did I pause it? No, it's not paused. Oh, He's just scared, I guess, of the TV, so he's just hiding. Oh, how precious. That was so cute. And when does, when does he age up, I wonder? Like, do we... Do we have a day for that, or does it just just happens whenever it happens? I guess it just happens when it happens. But, okay. Oh, I need to check Bianca. How you doing, Bianca? Okay, we're still in the same day. Okay, I was getting myself really confused. And so rude. Well, that was uncalled for. Lewis acting maliciously toward Keely it really left a sour taste in her mouth. It is Keely wishing Sims could just be nice to each other instead of whatever that was. After reflecting on this rude interaction, could it be that Keely dislikes malicious interactions? Uh, yeah, I think most people dislike malicious interactions. Let's be honest. I love how Melly came up here after that happened to like try to mediate the situation she's like trying to be the peacemaker she's like hey kids like it's okay you know you guys are gonna be different and all of that like it's fine because even though like okay guys lewis is pretty shy right but then i feel like you know he is going through this phase and now that he has a home he's starting to really open up more and you know having a dog like things are just going his way and so he's feeling pretty confident from that which i am loving that and he's really really smart too and so that also comes into play did did he win a game yet play three games of chess oh okay so no he hasn't won anything yet i don't think but oh my gosh keely you're going crazy over here look <laughs> melly's over here getting a headache Oh my gosh, now we have that Keely is going through a phase where she is going to be rebellious and challenge parental authority. So, wow, they are both having some difficulties. And, you know, Melly, I think, is feeling a little bit overwhelmed, but she's trying to help, you know, calm them both down. She's like, look, you know, I understand, you know, you're not used to having someone to listen to, but, you know, the advice that I give you, it's to help you and to keep you safe. It's not for anything else. And, Oh, that also might be why she's not feeling good. They're both getting sick. Oh, no. Right before her birthday, too. That's terrible. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and unload the laundry. Unload and put laundry away. Come on, Melly. What are you doing? Unload and put this laundry away. You can use the bathroom in a second. It is so early in the morning on Sunday and the kids are both awake because they both had monsters under their bed. It's starting to rain outside and Melly is just exhausted. Like she is so over it. She has sprayed under both of their beds. It looks like Keely is gonna attempt to go back down and hopefully, Lewis, can you, can you go back to bed too? Let's try that. So they all had a successful pirate day, which I am really happy about that. And it looks like little Bobby, I think Bobby's okay. I'm not quite sure where he is. Oh, he's upstairs. How did he get upstairs? I didn't think puppies could go up the stairs. Maybe someone picked him up. I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to send them all on to bed because whew, we have to do Keely's birthday party tomorrow. So I'm hoping it will be successful and hopefully this rain will pass. Good morning, everyone. So, oh my goodness, we are officially officially in fall like i can't believe it like it's already almost time for the holidays what but we do need to make some breakfast for our kiddos we're gonna make something really yummy for breakfast i want to just you know surprise them with something good so let's see where's where's all the breakfast foods i want the breakfast foods we're gonna do some delicious pancakes for them i feel like the kids would really enjoy that Keely, girl, why are you going to get some cheese crackers? Don't have some cheese crackers in the morning. Just wait for mom to make you some breakfast, basically. Okay, so we'll have her go ahead and... Where's Bobby? Bobby, I guess he's still upstairs. We can have her pick him up. Oh, he's sleeping in Lewis's room. That is precious. And Lewis looks like he is trying to get ready we'll go ahead and have him take a shower and boy you didn't flush that toilet we're gonna make sure he does that so okay and Keely she's going outside to mourn Shiloh she still just misses her so much but okay we are gonna plan and schedule her birthday I'm hoping that rain subsides and it doesn't become a huge big thunderstorm let's see what does it say heavy rain today's forecast is rain so 
Okay, well, let's go ahead because we do need to plan her a birthday party. Oh, and Bobby has aged up from a puppy to an adult. <gasps> OMG, let's take a look. Oh my gosh, is this what a Maltese is? <laughs> that wasn't what I was picturing. But that is Bobby, which I think is a perfect little dog. It's kind of perfect because it's like, literally looks like a sheep. <laughs> it's like a baby sheep. And that's perfect for Lewis. I love that. So, okay. Wonderful. They're both like, oh my gosh, it smells so good in here, mom. And she's like, yeah, I know, I know. Like, I'm going to make you guys some pancakes. So just be patient. He's like, but I'm so hungry. I can't, I can't. And so she's like, literally, it's coming out right now. So, okay, kids, come and grab a serving. Come grab your pancakes. We're all going to eat breakfast together. Because today is Keely's birthday. Are you excited, honey, for your birthday? She's like, yeah, I am. And guys, I know that they called her mom, but you know, she is like a little bit older now and they're getting more accustomed to being a family. So they're getting more okay with calling her mom. And so is she. She's getting more okay with hearing that. So I really like that. Like, I love seeing how they're just evolving together. But anyway, so she's like, okay, well, we're going to plan for it. I was trying to have it outside by the greenhouse house but I'm just not sure if it's going to work out that way but we're going to do our best so make sure you get ready because your party is going to be happening soon so okay guys let's get ready so the party is happening at noon so I'm going to go ahead and have Melly come use the bath oh she's going to go ahead and do it herself and we're going to have her come over here after she does that to bake a cake so let's see for little Keely what would little Keely want chocolate cake coconut cake a strawberry cake I think we're gonna do a strawberry cake for her I feel like she would really like that and so then Lewis let's see he's already showered and Keely has as well so they are ready for the day we need to get a little collar on um, on Bobby and so look at him barking at the toilet so okay he does have food and Melly she'll probably change into her party wear here shortly and then we're gonna have her also make some um, gourmet food I think to serve everyone so we can do that's something that Keely would like because she's kind of picky right now I believe if I'm not mistaken so probably just some ceviche and chips. I feel like that would be simple enough for everyone. And oh, look at her. She's playing. She's so excited. And plus, you know, she's sad too that she doesn't really get to play out outside. How's Bianca? It's probably dirty. Yeah. Okay. It's slightly dirty. It's not terrible, but you know, it is rainy outside. So can't blame her. All right. The party is starting. Little Keely has changed into her little party outfit. Look how adorable she looks, OMG. And all the guests are starting to arrive and look at Melly. She looks adorable as well. And we have her little pink balloons and her strawberry cake. Oh my gosh, we need to have Keely come put some candles in this before someone, before someone. Okay, maybe she's too far away. So maybe I'll have Lewis come and do it. Nobody touch this cake. Don't touch this cake. Don't touch this cake. Don't touch this cake. Hurry, Lewis. Hurry, 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 hurry. Oh my goodness. Hurry. Add some candles. Oh, phew. Okay, we're safe. We are safe. Look at Kim. She is all dressed up. And there is Mallory. It's so good to see her. And Graham. Oh my gosh. So glad to see that everyone has come over to support Keely. Oh, it's so cute. And little um, Bobby is over here getting some grub. So Keely, she's excited, you know, she's thankful all these people came and of course mostly what Keely is excited for is to open these presents. That's what really matters to her. But we're going to go ahead and move our cake over there to the birthday table. She's got her little birthday sign. Oh yes, and look she's over here having herself some orange juice. And Melly is trying to finish up. She's making that ceviche and chips, some chips and dip for everybody. And have some playful at the same time. Blow out candles. I'm not really worried about the goals thing, 
but yeah Mallory is over here just chatting with Lewis telling him another one of the stories because he's actually because he is a bookworm so he does like to read a lot and so he loves hearing all the different stories that Mallory has to tell and he did go to earlier in the week her book event her uh, storybook magic over at the library and he really really enjoyed it so she can't help herself but share a new story she's like Ooh, do you like vampires I've got a story about vampires he's like absolutely so oh look at him he's reached motor at level two so I love how seeing everyone is just so happy let's call everyone to come and pick up a serving of the ceviche and chips she's like come and grab some food everyone like come fill your bellies you know let's all chat and catch up today is a day about Keely and so Keely is like thanks so much this is delicious but someone's got some stanky feet but anyways there must be oh it's because the counter is dirty that's why but yeah everyone seems to be having a good time Keely is just like can we please get to my birthday cake now like all these people I feel like are mostly here just to chat with you mom like please and so Melly's like of course okay we'll have everyone gather around let's go ahead and have you open your present so she's gonna go add a present over here for Keely Hopefully it's something good that she actually wants because was it Melly's? I can't remember, but when it was Melly's birthday, I feel like it was kind of awkward and not good. But look at that pretty present. I like that bow on it. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, let's go ahead and can I have Keely come and open birthday presents? There we go. Open birthday presents. Sure, from Melly. So let's take a look. Okay, she's coming on over. She's opening it. And Melly's like, I hope you like it, honey. What is it? Oh, she did not like it. Who would give one wolf eel as a gift? Keely isn't happy about it. Oh my goodness. So let's uh, open up another one. Let's say this one is from Graham. So she's like, I hope this one's better. And <laughs> let's see, what is it? What is it? Oh, Junior Wizard Starter Set. So she was pretty excited. So, all right. And we'll open another one. This one will say is from Mallory. Oh, look, she's already getting one. This must be the real one from Melly. Let's see what it is. All right, she got Penguin Vision Children's Television Set. Wow. Melly, you went all out for that. She's like, honey, I gave you the other one as a joke, but also because I thought it would be a fun one to use on your little science experiment kit, her your wizard set. So there were reasons behind it. So there wasn't it wasn't just for nothing. So she's really happy about it, but we need to have her come on over now to blow out her candles and make a wish cake must be in the center oh my gosh I hate this so much just it is in the center okay there we go so let's make a wish it's time for Keely to become an adult all right here she goes this outfit looks so adorable on her happy birthday Keely we are so excited to be here for you and to be celebrating with you uh, and to have your birthday here in your own family so here she goes. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I can't wait to see. Okay, so adventurous, and I'm just gonna randomize it right now, and we can always change them later because obviously your personality changes as you go. Um, so adventurous and loyal because I haven't decided yet officially who is gonna be our heir for the next generation between her and Lewis. But yeah, so if I need to, I'll make adjustments as needed. So um, yeah, so we will have her be loyal and Let's do a teen aspiration, drama llama, goal oriented, admired icon, uh, live fast. I feel like that's kind of like her right now. So we're just going to do that. And OMG, honey, what do you got them sunglasses on? <laughs> so we will, of course, definitely be doing a makeover. Oh my gosh, does she have like crazy blue eyeshadow on? Honey, let me look at your eyes. Oh, Keely. 
Oh, Keely, Keely, Keely. Okay, of course, we're going to be most definitely going into Cass and updating her. But anyways, I'm going to do that off screen and I will show it to you guys in the next episode, her makeover. So thank you so much, Tater Tots, for joining me. I This episode's probably gone on really long, so I apologize if you've made it this far. Thank you so much. You're wonderful. And so if you aren't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the future episodes. And don't forget to hit that like button and drop a comment down down below and I will catch you guys next time. See ya. I know man passing by life is good best I've ever felt. Get me up so